Back in 2011, Adam Jensen uncovered a conspiracy that went on to change the world, dividing humans into augmented or naturals. Two years have passed since the events of human revolution. Augmented humans are now seen as pariahs and forcibly relocated into ghettos and heavily oppressed. Gone are the forced boss battles and vexing gold filter. Instead, Deus Ex Mankind Divided elevates the franchise to new heights with strong choice driven gameplay and story. Mankind Divided provides many different options of how you want to play. It's everything that you could have asked from a sequel. This is Jensen. Secure. Mankind Divided dumps you into the shoes of Adam Jensen once again, former Detroit cop and private security specialist, now an agent for an independent governmental organization seeking to connect the world's police force, called Interpol. Since the AUG incident, which caused all augmented humans around the world to go into a murderous frenzy, augmented humans have become the center of controversy. People are scared of augmented humans, labeling them as less than human and forcing them to carry specific papers and relocating some to favela-like cities. Don't worry if you didn't play Human Revolution. Edith Montreal has put a 12 minute optional video summarizing the first game in case you need a refresher as well. Unlike Human Revolution, Mankind Divided has one open world to run around. The realized version of Prague is infused with side quests and hidden paths that yield some special items and gadgets for those looking in the right places. Not only are you given access to Human Revolution's abilities, but new talents making traversing the world much easier. For example, the Icarus Dash allows Adam to leap short distances in a blink of an eye. If you choose to play as a deadly agent, which shoots first, the Titan Augment will suit your playstyle, negating all damage for a period of time. You're never hindered for choosing one path over another. In every situation, multiple options exist of how you wish to complete each objective. You can choose to storm into the front door or look for a hidden vent. You're encouraged to look for hidden areas with the promise of rare items and extra experience. Choosing an assortment of powers that pr properly suit your style and promote synergy is one of Deus Ex Mankind Divided's strongest elements. Augments that tailor to lethal and non-lethal options are available to choose from and complement both styles of play. For example, if you wish to remain in the shadows, investing in the remote hacking tool will allow you to hack electronics from a distance. Similar to Bioshock 2's hack and dark minigame, where it goes back and forth until you hit the correct node. All the of these abilities require praxis points to unlock, which are obtained through completed missions and tasks for, for experience or getting praxis kits. Some abilities have branches and upgrades based on which tier you invest into. I felt like a cybernetic god with these enhancements. No task was too great and nothing felt impossible. Instead, I continuously looked for opens in the enemy's defenses that went against the obvious choice. Since everything requires energy, maintaining a steady pace was paramount. Starting through with the Icarus Dash could save my life, but without triaging my power, it could leave me exposed without energy. Since players cannot add more battery packs to their gauge, once it runs low, you would have to wait for it to recharge. You can use bio cells to temporarily increase and charge your power, but once drained, the battery logo will have to wait until it's charged fully for you to reuse your abilities. Eidos Montreal has addressed many of the issues with Human Revolution. For example, stealth is no longer the more focused gameplay type. Experience is no longer distributed unevenly with violent options yielding just as much points as stealth options. The moment to moment experience has drastically been improved due to the ability to mantle up ledges, cover to cover movement system is much more effective, and a new UI that highlights where you've been observed if you were seen. If you happen to break cover, a silhouette of your last known location will appear where enemies will focus their attention on. Other small improvements include a reduced animation for the Icarus landing system and an auto sword and inventory. It was strange that the ability to hide bodies inside vents and lockers wasn't included. Having to drag bodies itself is vexing, especially since you can't open doors while you drag them, but having to place them in specific locations to avoid detection when I should be able to stump them, stuff them into a vent can become very frustrating later on in the game. Shooting has drastically improved from the first game. Improved controls which can be swapped to accommodate first person and veterans, and precise, precise aiming have made shooting in Mankind Divided feel right. Best of all, you can use on-the-fly modifications that play a much larger role in this game. 
if players require more time to think of their actions, you can also pause the game by opening the menu and choose your mods without having to worry about being spotted or if you're being shot at. Like Human Revolution, the story of Mankind Divided offers branching paths. Depending on the choices you make, characters will treat you different and the people around you will change. Unlike Human Revolution, most of the choices you make aren't clearly black and white. In one instance, a side mission required me to save one of two augmented people from being deported into an augmented ghetto called Go Golem City. Both deserved to be saved, but I had to choose one. By the second act, I saw the person that I didn't help broken and she blamed me. They didn't even blame me for what happened, which made things even worse. The main campaign does a better job of showcasing more dire situations, but Eidos Montreal successfully mimics this level of urgency and difficult choice into minor quests, which made me rethink not only my major actions, but my minor actions. The main campaign does suffer from a pacing issue. The plot is well produced with an excellent voice cast to support the many alluring characters throughout this adventure, but it does suffer from horrible lip syncing. In Human Revolution, new information was led to more powerful inf individuals and the possibility of losing close allies was constantly being hinted at. Mankind divided the central case is already presented in the beginning of the game and it never reaches a new level. In fact, you're mostly trying to solve that one case for about more than half the game. The, Bre the Breach is an independent time trial mode that focuses on gameplay. Here players are plunged into a VR themed world with a distinct art style to compete for record times on the leaderboards. Take control of a new rebel called Ripper. You travel between Breach points to complete trials and unlock new items for your avatar. These are obtained randomly through booster packs and include weapons, upgrades, and modifiers to change the gameplay. Unique abilities such as the double jump grant higher mobility, allowing for faster movement, especially when compared to the campaign. It's a welcome in addition for those seeking just some high speed action. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is exactly what a sequel should be. It improves on everything the first game established while giving players much more to toy around with. The branching path always had me wondering if I made the right choice, how the consequences would play out, and what I should do next. The technical issues were distracting, but the new dimension of combat and exploration continued to challenge me. I was rewarded for my curiosi curiosity and lamented on every decision I made. If this is the last time we see Adam Jensen, he definitely went out with a bang.